I'll take and go for a little walk so you can see the pups. I'll bring them with me. Well, they'll they'll just come where I go. I'll set this up and we can walk out there and come back. That should be okay, I think. right here on this turn. Let's go sit by them. This is Anya. I think this is Freya. Just good scratch it. Scratch it. And uh, I've got uh, Haken, I think, right here. Two of the other boys that don't have their names. I've got Letta. I believe this is Letta. This is Vana. That's Kai, and that's Vada. Vada! Vada! Don't take them down there, Vada. I'm doing a video. Vada! Kai! These boy, this boy hangs with this girl, just the way it is. Good, Vada. Good. 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 You guys come by me. Yeah, good. Come here, boys. Come, Freya. Take it. Good. Good. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my girl. That's my girl. Good. Good. That's my girl. Come. Good. 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 Good, you guys. Good. Good, Vida. Way to go, Vida. Vida. Nine Norwegian elk hounds from Kamiya Kennels is what's up here today with me. And uh, we're a preservation breeder in British Columbia. And we raise some of the best elk hounds in the world. These are very, very old strains, very old lines, all of them. All of these are foundation dogs, meaning they go to the start of the foundation. So to give you an idea, the foundation's older than the entire German Shepherd breed. So these dogs are all um, 
lineage is older than the breed of German Shepherds, to give you an idea, just in recorded history and then thousands of years before that. This is very, very old dogs. These are pure old lines. No deviations, no flaws. Everything perfect. And they're world class in the bush. When they get up in the bush, they come into their elements. We're up in the mountains today. We're about uh, 4,700 feet here today. We've had a nice hike. We took our time. We were way down over along those ridges over there. It's very nice over there. And as you come up, you see it gets drier and drier. And so just in the few spots where the, like the minute that you move into the sun, the grass is crackly and dry. But if you stay right here where the sun doesn't hit, it's not as dry. Um, I've got, this is a serious group of hunters. So I'm just keeping an eye on the big girls because uh, they're training today, they're mentoring and they, they'll pull the little guys with them. So um, there's, they're digging and going and they got the little guys way down there now. I'll just uh, spin that camera. Vana, Vada, Kai, bring them guys here. Vada, Kai, bring them here. Let it. Come, boys. Bring them all here. Come by me. Come on, guys. Come on, boys. Come on, by me. By me, boys. Come on, right by me here. That's right. Good try. Come on, boy. Come right here. Don't be over there. Kai, come up here so they come. Good, Vida. Good, Kai. Good. 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 Hard work for these dogs up here today. It's a warm day. But uh, we're dropping down to minus, or to seven degrees at night. So it's getting cooler. By a couple more days, the water will be freezing at night. So it's uh, definitely changing temps, definitely. Now, Anya, Freya, and Hawken are heading out in a few days, four or five days. And uh, these other two boys, um, we'll see what happens. These are rock star hunters, these boys. Rock star hunters, these boys. Phenomenal. Dale and Wendy have sage and willow and cedar and aspen and tika at their ranch over here a couple hours away. They're co-breeders with us. They work with us. And so they actually whelp this litter out. They do such a phenomenal job with them. I've had them now for a month or so, I suppose. And uh, I trained them in the desert training. Go ahead, you guys. So they found a little rodent there. They're going to try and get them out of there. They'll work away a little bit on that. Which is fine. It keeps them busy. But uh, yeah, I'll stay pointing up in the shade here. They'll they'll hang out in this ridge here because it's cool and shady. So they'll uh, they'll like that right there. You guys and my buddies, I'll tell you. Now I uh, I raise elk hounds. I'm a preservation breeder, but if the truth be told, what I'm really good at is remote terrain dog handling. And uh, so, every single dog here is bloodlines that I've raised myself. And uh, these are all, all extremely gifted dogs off lead. And so, I utilize mentors. Now I got nine-year-old dogs out here, I got couple-year-old dogs, three-year-old dogs, I got 
five, six-year-old dogs. I got 12-week-old pups. Um, Letta, maybe five. So we've got the whole range. So Kai, of course, trained Vada. Vada trained Vana. Vada is Vana's mother. Letta is a daughter of Kai. So Kai's mother to Letta. And the mother of these pups is Sage. And one of them might even be Willows. But uh, Sage and Willow are identical to Letta. Only their daughters of Tika. Tika is a full sibling sister to Kai. And so these are phenomenal dogs. So these dogs are bred to do what, what you're watching today. They're bred to work with me in the remote terrain. So I can take nine dogs and just cruise. And we can just cruise through here. Um, a lot of people would say, how do you keep them around? But it's, uh, it's with this many dogs, the only way to do it is through energy. So you have to be able to communicate to the entire group through energy and that's they all understand that and they feel it and they can sense it and so they just they just feel what I'm feeling and uh, they're they're basically geared to me look at this dog she's just look at these guys look at look at this like I mean this is pretty profound right for 12 week old pups I mean they've worked hard to get here but they could go anywhere they want. This is what they do. And the one little guy likes to dig in the pile with Letta. He's been hanging with Letta all day, which is totally great. Um, she's an excellent trainer. But these guys, they, they don't necessarily focus on the mentors too much. They just hang with me. Now, uh, we're going to stop here about 20 minutes. I'll do the video. Right after the video, we're going to walk mile or so that way we're gonna make a couple of ridges and we're coming to a you can see you can see the start of the aspen behind us and so we follow that aspen up way up and when we get on top of that ridge up there the springs are there and so we can follow that spring now if you're ever lost out in the wilderness of course you get up really high if you find out where all the aspen runs are, the poplar, the willow, you know that there's water there. So you can go and, and you go uphill, of course. You don't go down. Go uphill to where the spring is. Because the spring's at the top, all the water flows down. So go to the top, the spring will be there if you get lost. And so that's where we'll head to. It's a nice day, but it's a nice breeze. Hopefully it's not too loud. None of these four are bred, two are retired. Kai and Vida are retired. Sat with Vida when she was born. Sat with Vana, Kai, Letta. Wendy and Dale sat with these guys. I sat with their grandma Tika. I'll get them for you, buddy. I'll get them. Hang on, I'll get it. Yeah. yeah, these are phenomenal. So these are hunting dogs, extraordinary uh, capabilities in hunting. They're some of the best hunting lineages in the world, in the background. The father of these magnificent dogs is Karu. The mother is Sage. And Willow could be one of them. I think all I got left is sage pups, but uh, sage and willow are sisters. We had them bred at the same time. They had 11 pups between them.
but uh, these are world-class hunting dogs. Now when you get home you gotta check for birds because all the birds are out. So I gotta go through them all and check them all. But they're easy to check of course, they just jump right in your lap. You can just check them all over, you can check in their ears, behind their ears, everywhere. Isn't that right, Chris? Isn't that right? Beautiful girl. So yeah, this is a lovely day up here today, boy. And you can you can get connected to the earth, get some grounding. Very, very beneficial for your health. And of course the peace and the energy that you feel up here with these dogs is so relaxing, so wonderful. And I mean talk about a calm group of dogs, just total chill dogs. But uh, they, they pick up on what you feed them. And so if you're calm, they're calm. And uh, these, these are some chill dogs. Now the beauty of having the big mentor dogs is whatever comes in the focus of our hikes, the mentor dogs will all let us know. We don't have to worry, the little guys and me, we just kind of, we just kind of go along. We're just hiking. They're watching everything. We can just enjoy. It's a wonderful thing. I'll guarantee you this much, though. If I ever had to hire a dog trainer, the first thing I would ask him is to show me his mentor dog because without a mentor dog, you have to use a whole bunch of other nonsense to train. So I would for sure only go to a guy with a mentor dog. And I got mentor dogs. I have the best mentor dogs on the planet for this job. These are mentor dogs. Yeah. These are world-class outcomes, these two. So the grandfather of this dog is the father of this dog. There's that son of a gun. I got him, buddy. After he bit me, I got him. He's dead. Now, see, he was looking not to get stung or bit. And I told him I'd get him. And I got him. Good job. We got that son of a gun. He's not going to bother us again, buddy. Yeah. And the mother, grandmother of, of Leda is the sister to Vada's, to Vana's mother, Vada. And of course, Vada's sister, Torah, was the mother of Kai. And Torah was the mother of Tika, which is the grandmother to these guys on the mother's side. Hey, Kai, bring them up here. Don't take all them guys way down there. Who else is gone? Vada, Kai, bring him up here. Come on, boys. Come by me. But you guys stay by me here. Stick around. Do a video. But Kai, you stick around. Vada, stick around. Doing a video here. Good, good, good. Amazing recall these two girls have. Kai, she just goes to that rock. Vida always puts on more miles than anybody. It's just her nature. She just is a mover and a shaker. She's just hustling. You're a good boy. You like to hustle with and Vida, don't you? You like to hustle with Vida. You're happy now. There's my girl. There's my girl. There's my girl. There's my girl. Yeah, so we're having a wonderful day. 
Now all kinds are geared for this. My lines especially, they're really, really geared for this. They, uh, they're exceptionally gifted at paying attention to the handler. The handler focuses is this, in this lineage, of course, is one of the very best in the world. It's, uh, there's very, very few lines that are so gifted in this, in this ability. And uh, it's, a, it's a very, very powerful trait if you like the remote terrain. If you like to go hiking and you like to have the dogs with you, it's an extremely good trait. It's one of the best traits of the whole elk on breed. Um, they're, they're so simple to hunt with. A uh, breed like this, you can hunt, like, they'll find moose up in this draw. They'll, as soon as we go up there, they'll find them right away. Like, as soon as we get up there, they'll want to go, and, and they'll show all these guys how to find them. And they're, they hang in those draws. We were through a draw over there. There was a bunch of beds. They've been hanging out up top there. They can smell the updrafts, so they sleep there. And uh, there's there's whitetail up here. There's um, we've probably got a few elk coming through too. I'll hear them soon. But uh, our whole valley runs down that that direction, and so we live down in that valley. But we're gonna make our way up this way and uh, get some water. We haven't had water on this trail yet. So we'll hit the road.